Thank you for having me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As um, Brother Sam said, I'm Dennis McCall. I'm from the island of Jamaica, which is south of Haiti. We've been hearing a lot about Haiti these days, and we do need to pray for them there. Um, but I trusted Christ as my Lord and Savior at age 14. Um, we are uh, in a church service for the New Year's um, Sunday service. And um, from then, I've been walking with the Lord, serving in the church. And, um, you know, in 1998, I decided to go to Bible college. So I am trained now to be like a youth pastor. And I've been working as a youth pastor for five years, past five years, um, in my parish there in Black River, in St. Elizabeth, Black River area. Um, for my friend here who knows Jamaica and St. Elizabeth, it's a blessing to, uh, to see her. Um, in this congregation, I'm just telling, and um, you know, it's just a blessing to see how the Lord uh, works and has brought me here to Word of Life and to continue the training so that I can, you know, help other young people uh, to share the gospel. And now I'm with Sam here, I'm in New York City, you know, just uh, sharing the gospel with people who really need it. And I trust that, you know, you will pray for his ministry. It's a wonderful opportunity. And um, the harvest truly is plentiful, as the word of God tells us. So the laborers are just few, and um, beyond that, you know, need to uh, be a part of this um, by at least praying and trusting the Lord to, to do His work in our lives. Um, you know, just the word of God has been such um, an encouragement to my life. And um, you know, uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians, uh, five. Um, tells us about the, the terror of the Lord um, and, and, and knowing the terror of the Lord we persuade men and thus you know we need to be doing that um, each day and so thank you for the opportunity and may God bless you as we worship here to, today and um, you know just continue to pray for us as we do that. Yes, it is a privilege again. I was here uh, back in December with Sam. We came with America with the team, and it was a privilege. And just want to thank you once again for this opportunity to be here. Uh, in a uh, second year student at the Word of Life Bible Institute, uh, Mary, uh, we got snow camp going on back there right now. A lot of teens, a big uh, camp on the weekend, a snow camp. The teens come and hear the gospel and a lot of activities. I think last weekend, about 50 salvation decisions. Praise the Lord for that. It's still continuing. Uh, they just got some snow, so. Had a couple more weeks of that. Um, what a privilege it is to be down here after spending a day in New York City and know that there are some believers in here that do, that do love Christ, you know. Uh, the Bible tells us, you know, how will they hear, uh, how will they call on Him whom they have not believed? How will they believe on Him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? And it's Romans 10, uh, 10, 14, 10, 15. So, uh, but that's, you know, I was just reflecting this morning in my quiet time how uh, I've been pulled from the darkness to the light, from uh, death to life, from uh, slavery to sin to freedom in Christ, and uh, what a life He has given me. And uh, we have a responsibility to tell others, and I'm just so excited to be here. Uh, thank you again, and uh, God bless you.